I climbed a, a beech tree and uh, had a good view of the German strong point. Well, I climbed down then and gathered up two or three mortars that I could find and placed them near the tree so I could climb the, the tree and give them corrections and adjust on the, the strong point. And I succeeded in doing that, and when we delivered far for effect on the strong point, the Germans put down their weapons and, and came out with white flags. And I gave the command uh, cease fire intermission, and the lieutenant uh, immediately countermanded the order, and he announced that I countermand that order, re repeat range, repeat fire for effect. And I argued with him, I said, and I climbed down out of the tree and said, come up and look and see that it's over there. They're putting down their weapons and coming out. And he repeated his command. And of course, when they started firing again, well, the mortars, the Germans took up their weapons and got back in their holes and resumed the conflict. And I was extremely uh, perturbed because we had 10 or 15 men killed before we overcame the strong point. And that was, uh, was not necessary. And when I criticized the lieutenant, he said, well, we had no choice. Said, we, uh, we knew that we were needed the bridge, and we didn't know how much resistance we'd have in getting there. We didn't have any way to, to control the prisoners once they were captured. And my argument was that these 10 or 15 people that were killed could have guarded the prisoners and they would have lived to fight another day.